I've been doing this for about seven years now. This is my eighth piano, and this has become just one of my big communities. In 2017, I came to see one of my friend's piano here. And when I saw all those 60 pianos beautifully decorated, I was just passionate that I have to make one. I first saw a Sing for Hope piano um, a couple of years ago when I was in Times Square with my kids. And I've been drawn to it. I've always thought that it would be a great medium for me to express myself. And I remember I saw one of the pianos out in Staten Island once in a park. I was like, this is the coolest thing I've seen in a while. It was such a cool thing, how people do really get brought together. Like I witnessed a couple sing-alongs and I think it's so wonderful. Having something that's out in the community that, that people can interact with and be inspired by and sort of see their world with a little bit more magic in it. Like it sort of transforms every moment into something a little bit more artistic and creative. I'm a piano player myself and as an adult, I've not often had a piano in my life and so finding a piano outside in the streets and being able to just sit down and play I think is a gift. The more I found out about it I thought it was really nice that a school gets to have it like that's awesome forever and kids are now going to be able to see a piano and painting and kind of both things. One of the fun parts is when the pianos get to go to the schools and you get to see the kids really start to interact with the pianos. Their eyes light up, they get excited. So I think it's a wonderful program and to involve the arts in it and have them be decorated and then donated to schools I thought was just an incredible idea. For me it's been a rare opportunity to, to have my art be a part of something that's bigger and better than any single thing that I'm ever going to create on my own. And it's a really unique experience and, and, and I'm just grateful to, to have that opportunity to, to be a part of that.